Hi friends, this is Miss Sarah, your Nutrition and Action Educator from the YMCA. I am so excited that I get to spend some time with you. Today we get to read a book from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Now looking at this book, what do you think this book is about? That's right! Wash your hands. Good job, friends. When do you need to wash your hands? Yes, you are all correct. After you play outside, after you touch your pets, after you use the bathroom, the potty, after you sneeze, cough, blow your nose, before you eat or handle food. So many reasons for us to wash our hands. And why do you think we need to wash our hands? That's right. There are some germs that are not very good for us and we gotta get rid of them. We gotta wash them down the sink and we gotta get rid of the dirt so it doesn't go inside us or into other people. And how long should you wash your hands? That's right, 20 seconds. Now some of you might sing happy birthday two times and some of you can sing, clean, clean, clean your hands. Some of you know that song. And it's the same way that we sing, row, row your boat. Let's, let's, see, let's see what's in the book, all right? Wash your hands. This is a lot like the bathrooms at your schools, isn't it? Oh, he's sneezing, covered up, man. Everyone in Mrs. Connor's class had a cold. Oh, my friends, we know what that's like, don't we? When everybody is feeling ucky. Look at these red little noses. Oh, tissues everywhere. Achoo! Oh, there he goes. Achoo! <laughs> Nick sneezed and Jamie coughed. Ah. This poor friend right here, she's like, everybody stop sneezing and spitting germs at me. Emma Blue, honk. We have a lot of germs in our classroom, said Mrs. Connor. Hmm, people don't look like they feel very good, right? And a lot of times when we don't feel good, we should stay home. I do not see any germs, said Michael. Germs are too small to see, said Mrs. Connor, but germs are powerful and they can make you sick. I am sick of this cold, said Nick. If I could see those germs, why, I'd beat them up. I know a good way to get rid of germs, said Mrs. Connor. Who would like to show me how to wash hands? Um, nobody's really volunteering, are they? I will, said Riza. He turned on the cold water and stuck his hands underneath. Done, he said. Well, that was quick, wasn't it, friends? You forgot the soap, said Nia. She pumped out a little soap and rinsed her hands. Done, she said. You both did a good job, said Mrs. Connor, but not a good enough job to get rid of germs. Hmm, really? The best way to get rid of germs, she said, is to sing. Sing, asked the class. I thought she said to wash her hands. Mrs. Connor said, roll up your sleeves, please. She turned on warm water and gave everyone some soap. Then Mrs. Connor sang, Wash your hands with soap each time and remember this short rhyme. Let the water run real warm. 
Stop those germs from doing harm. Keep on washing, make it fun. Now you know just how it's done. That's a lot like the ABC song, said Becky. Now it is the wash hands song, said Jamie. So it's a little different. The first graders sang the wash hands song every time they washed their hands. <laughs> Look at my mom, it's tired. She's washing her hands, soap and water. Soon everybody got better. I told you I could beat those germs, said Nick. That is right, friends. So, after reading our book, why do you think Mrs. Connor wanted the children to wash their hands? That's right, they had colds and there were germs on their hands. So remember, in order to keep us healthy, the number one thing we can do is wash our hands. Thank you so much, friends, and we will see you soon.